Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. My name is Ashley and today's video is a little different than my normal videos, my normal day in the life of a mom or home like improvements and makeovers. This is a different type of video because it's necessary. I need to tell you guys all about this fast and how it has changed my outlook on just life in general. Um, I did a 21 day Daniel fast. I'm not gonna go into like a lot of details with the Daniel fast because there's so many other videos on here about like, what the Daniel fast is. This is just a testimony about what happened with the Daniel fast. I got my journal here and I wrote down a lot of thoughts. Also, you clicked on this video to know how I got a job without even applying for it. So that's one of the extras of the Daniel fast that happened to me and so I just want to you know share my journey with you guys from moving forward so this is going to be like part two and part three because I am waiting on God to do so many different things that I need to share it with you guys when it happens in the midst of it happening all that so if you are dealing with the spirit of unbelief or you're teeter-tottering between you know going all the way with God or you know needing to know more about God like I feel that I was in that space and now it's like coming up into the light. So guys, it's so much. Let me just get into the video, okay? <laughs> All right, so I did the Daniel fast. Um, I have my notes here. If you don't journal, you need to. Like I used to journal a little bit here and there, especially when I was a kid, I always kept the journal or diary. But um, journaling now is like totally like, it's like when I need to go tell on somebody, I come here. If I need to go, if I need to go like vent, I come here. I, I just like, it just feels so good to like write down my thoughts. And then sometimes going back and then I go back and look at what I wrote. So anyways, I started the Daniel Fast. Let me see if you can zoom in. All right, so we started the Daniel Fast April the 17th through May 8th. And I went through the whole 21 days, which is my first time ever doing the Daniel Fast. So that was a journey and a testimony all by itself but um, I did write some things down that I was believing God for so I'm gonna share them with you guys I wanted to become more sensitive to God I wanted a better prayer life um, no anxiety or depression um, or overstimulation so as Millennials we deal with that I don't know what it is the cross between technology and playing outside I don't know but we just don't like a lot going on and so um, I wanted a secure relationship with God I wanted to make sure I paid my tithes that was a battle at one point I was always you know making sure I paid it I had a conviction about it and somewhere down the line I stopped being convicted about it and I just, you know, stopped doing it. And so I wanted to make sure I started back doing that. Um, I wanted to feel better about my body. You know, the Daniel Fast, you know, you look good after not eating any meat, no dairy, um, you know, no sweets and, uh, you know, drinking nothing but water. I lost about 10 pounds, about 9 to 10 pounds on that. Um, that's something that's gonna, like the residue, that's gonna happen regardless. Once you start altering your the way of eating, that's going to happen. Um, so yeah. Also, I needed God to settle my family, give us a space where we can grow and not move for a while. I also was looking for financial freedom, a stronger marriage, better decision making, better relationship with God. All those things I was praying for. And so I wrote scriptures down. I mean, I just went through and I will show some recipes of what I ate on the Daniel Fast. So I did no dairy, no meat, no sugars, artificial sugars. I did fruit, vegetables, um, nuts, some grains. I even ate tortilla chips at one point because that was like God sent. I didn't even know I could eat that until like week three. <laughs> so it's hard now, don't get me wrong. That first week, I mean, my body was like acting up. This flesh, man, when you put this flesh under subjection, it cuts up, it cuts up. So Paul talked about, you know, dying to your flesh. And when I tell you, you put it on a fast, any fast, you say, oh, okay, God, I want to consecrate from watching TV. That flesh will start cutting up. So, you know, that's letting you know that it's necessary, you know, when your flesh start to buck up. Because I always used to pray, like, God, I want my spirit to be stronger than my flesh. My flesh kind of rule me, you know, it wants to rule me. It wants to take charge. It wants to, when I have a headache, it wants me to take medicine. It wants me to, you know, it just wants to feel better. It wants to look good. It wants to feel better. It wants to not have any issues but that's not like when we're tried we should glory in our tribulation so this flesh don't want to have no trial it don't want to go through nothing it don't want to do any of those things but we have to keep the right attitude all right moving back to the fast i have so many different parts of this story that i want to like zero in on the reason why you clicked on this video and that's to hear about how i got this job without putting any application in 
Okay, so we're just gonna skip past all the other things that I had a couple dreams about a house, which I will talk to you guys about that on another video. But um, yeah, so let's get started. One of the scriptures that I read that really helped me um, a lot in this you know, in this time was Jeremiah 29 and 11. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. The one is Proverbs 3 verses 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. I mean, I wrote so many different scriptures down, but those are the two that kind of helped me out and I kept rereading and all that, those things. But all right so let's get to the job y'all i'm a teacher so i'm a teacher you guys know if you follow me here i have a teacher a teacher channel ashley's happy nook um where i showcase my life as a teacher i'm trying to give you guys some little context of why i was trying to make a career change all right so i needed to be home with my baby boy daycare right now is so expensive also daycare is spare uh scarce here so it's very scarce, um, meaning like if you find something, you need to jump on it, all those things. So it took me a whole year. He was on the waiting list for a whole year to find childcare. When we moved here, I did have someone keep him at home. It was perfect. We became best friends. It's just awesome. Um, so that was a blessing by itself. But fast forward to November, December of 2022. And I was talking to my, my brother on the phone. And I was just like, I need to make more money. I feel like either that I need to like work from home or something like that so I can be home with Levi. Um, and so I just really was talking to him about it. I said, I don't know what this is. I had an unction, y'all. God deals with me with unctions, seeing things, reading things. I'm like, oh, dang, that must have been God. Or getting that unction that, oh, I should have went that way or something told me. You know, that's that'd be God. And also, he deals with me in dreams. So in this particular situation, it was that unction to like, I'm going to get a job that's going to require me to be home with Levi. And that was in December of 2022. All right. So fast forward to March of 2023. Um, by the way, today is June 1st. Oh, no, it's not. Today is June 2nd, 2023. Okay. While I'm filming this. So fast forward to March 2023. And... I had been like looking at different jobs and stuff, but not like heavily looking for a job, but I was gonna work for the bank, like Navy Federal or somewhere like that. Um, they do have a lot of like hybrid jobs and like work from home jobs. So I was gonna work for them um, and do that. But I, I think I put a couple applications in, but nothing really was like shaking for that. So nobody called me back basically. But anyways, March comes around and my ex coworker, my former coworker, my former colleague, she was teaching fourth grade, I was teaching third grade. So we're coworkers at this point. So she wasn't on my team, but I knew of her and I knew that she had to quit teaching to work from home. So she was working for Navy Federal and then she left Navy Federal into, and she started working at this foster care agency. Um, I'm not gonna say the name, but just know it's dealing with foster kids. And so she was working for this foster care agency and um, she was working from home and she was telling my team member, the person that's on third, my third grade team, she was, you know, they're best friends and she was just telling her how she loves her job and this and that. And I was, I think I was talking to her about something about needing to work from home or something like that. And she was like, well, you need a, you know, she has this great job, whatever. And so she, we were just talking about it. And that had to been like February-ish. So when March came around, I was like, let me send her a message on Messenger, on Facebook Messenger. And I asked her, I said, hey, is your company hiring? You know, and she was like, yes, you know, we're hiring. And she sent me the application, like not application, but she sent me like the portal or the website where I can go look at all the different jobs that were um, available. So long story short, I put in like two applications for two of the positions. They're like one big entity and then there's like different branches of that entity. So she was working in a different department, but she said that her um, position wasn't hiring, but you know, she sent me some other ones. So that's what I did. I ended up applying. Um, I followed up within a week. And um, what ended up happening was the lady on the phone, the HR lady was like, you know, asking me why I wanted to work from home. Cause I asked, she asked me why did I want to work for the agency? And I was like, well, I want to work from home. I shouldn't have said that. I should have said, because I love the company and I want to do great. And I want, you know, I should have just made it about the company and not about me. But anyways, lesson learned. So I was telling her that I need to work from home because I had a baby and I needed, you know, childcare is really expensive and it's scarce and you know, all those things. And so she, went on to tell me that oh you can't work from home and have a child in your care while working from home with this job and i was like oh okay so i go back on facebook mess messenger and i tell her you know this and that and she was like oh well that's not true we all you know work from home and we all have kids but i probably wouldn't have told her that and i was like okay well 
So that was, you know, that, that job was dead. I was just like, okay, I'm not gonna worry about that. So moving on to my teaching job, we have priority transfer. So if you're in the teaching world, then you know that we get first dibs on new jobs or new schools that's opening. Uh, not opening, but like new positions at different schools. So I needed to be close. Like I was like, man, I need to be close to my kids in some kind of form because my at this point, my kids go to a separate school. So they were going to one school. I was going to an inner city school I was working at. And so they were working at this, they were at the school that's in our school zone, um, it, like where we live at. And so they were riding the bus and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, I need to be at the school with them so I can be in the loop because sometimes there's different things that be happening. And I, I'm teaching third grade and my daughter was in third grade. I couldn't be at her functions because I had my own function. So I was like, well, if I can't work from home with Levi, I will be able to just be with them and, um, you know, just kind of be in try to settle ourselves that's what i wanted to do if you remember i did ask god i need to be i want us to be settled and i feel like we were all kind of all over the place so i sent a message to i sent an email to my um my principal and just told i just told her hey if something comes up for a priority transfer you know just by faith you know i didn't say all that but i just said if something comes up i'm just wanting you to know that i'll be you know applying for that position i thank you guys so much for you know being here and all this stuff and all that and I just want to make sure she knew before i just started you know because principals talk anyways but i still wanted to make sure because she's been so good to me and like i just wanted to make sure i didn't leave on a sour note so she was like okay i'm gonna miss you this and that so right after i emailed her that maybe a couple days later i emailed the principal at the other school i didn't know the protocol on how you're supposed to wait and all that i just emailed her and i said hey i just need to get the opportunity to interview for you guys i'm not asking you to hire me i just need the opportunity to interview because once i interview i didn't say this part either but i know once i interview it's mine it's mine it's my job so um she didn't reply like for like almost three or four days and then she was like well can you um did you tell your principal did you already speak to your principal i was like yes ma'am and she said well what position would you want i said well anything under like lower grades i kind of want to work with lower grades because i want to teach kids how to read i really wanted to teach first grade but they didn't have that available they had kindergarten and third grade so i go to the school and she's like we can come you can come talk to me about it quote unquote interview i interviewed for them and basically she told me i got the job but she couldn't make it official because they have a protocol that they had to meet and it was april the week of like april the 12th or something like that and so i had to like you know you know, I had to wait on that. So, so the same day I had an interview, my friend, my ex coworker, we're gonna call her my friend, my friend on Facebook Messenger, she sends me a message and, say, and she says, hey girl, my department is hiring um, somebody quit. My supervisor wanted to know if I knew anybody and I told him I knew you and if you want me to send your resume to him, you know, I'm just letting you know, like you can. And I was like, oh man, that's great. Yeah, send my resume to him. Um, and that was the same day that I had to go talk with the principal, quote unquote interview. And then she sent the resume that day. So that was like March 31st. So the school job I had it in the bank, guys. It was, you know, I already, I did the transfer. Um, I think it was a week later we had made it official. And um, so that was that. I didn't hear anything from the resume, you know. I just was like, I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. So I just went ahead and, um, you know, just had my thoughts on, you know, moving with that school and all that. So, y'all, I started the Daniel Fest on April the 17th. And that that was a Monday. That Wednesday, I get this call from her supervisor. And he was like, hey, can you um, interview? Like, do you want to interview for us? Uh, So-and-so gave us your information. And, you know, we would like to interview you. And I was like, yes, that'd be great. So, um that monday i had the interview and it was like a panel of like five people plus myself so six people i was like oh my gosh it was so intimidating so we did a zoom interview it was really really like at first i was like a little nervous but then it kind of was like you know they was really laid back and i'm like talking to them i'm feeling like i got the job you know how i said oh if i just get to the interview i'm gonna rock it you know but it was a whole different you know, entity. I've been a teacher for a few years, you know, like four years of teaching. And then I had, was an assistant teacher, I was subbing. So all I knew really was like, okay, how to go and rock a teacher interview. It's been a long time since I had any other type of interview. So I get there and I just, I don't know, I just really felt like it was a great interview. And then right after that, I, she, they send me a message or email and they were saying, hey, this is the benefits package, whoop the boo. 
I was like, oh, okay, so my, I'm gonna give you guys some dates. That's April the 24th, 2023, when I got the interview, I had the interview or whatever, and they sent me the benefits package. They was like, it was nice speaking with you, this and that. On my in my journal, I wrote April the 25th. It says yesterday I had an interview. I had to go to the. I went to Messenger and I looked up the girl who referred me. I don't know. I just something told me to just go to Messenger to check. And she had sent me a message, and she said, "Girl, I got you got the job." I was like, "What?" I said, "I'm so happy, but a little worried about trying to navigate both jobs because at this point I was like, well, I got this other job and then I got this new job." You know, but I didn't get official word from them. You know, it was just her telling me, she was like, you're going to be my partner. You're going to be working here in Pensacola with me. It's going to be great. And I'm like, okay, you sound, you don't supposed to know that I, you know, told you. And I was like, okay, cool. So, you know, days go by and I'm still, you know, I'm writing Bible verses. Um, another one I'm going to leave you guys with is Romans 8 and 25. But if we hope for what we see not, then we do with patience, wait for it. So I was just in a waiting season with that so on the last day of the fast let's fast forward to that the last day of the fast i was like oh we made it to the end of the daniel fast i really really i really can't believe i i placed my body under so much subjection literally nobody but god today the new job call all my references i got a call from the supervisor and he was just explaining the process he even asked if i was still interested because it's may 8 y'all had an interview April the 24th and so I was getting a little anxious so I was emailing him like hey have you have any updates and all this kind of stuff but he finally did call all the references because I use all my coworkers as my references so I can like stay informed on the process okay and so um it was just and then they're all professional so it was it worked out and then so he was telling me that he had to wait for higher management to approve everything he said it can take up to 48 hours or three weeks and i'm like man um so i was like well god has been so faithful i'm still believing god for a house at stronger marriage okay, so we, we're gonna talk about that part but we're gonna talk about the job okay i'm still believing god for all these things i trust god to do exactly what he said he's gonna do he is my weight make he's my way maker he's my provider my healer my savior my lord thank you jesus for loving and choosing me to be a vessel for your kingdom lord you're mighty thanks for helping me to pray and keeping a thorn in my side i never want to lose you i never want to forget about you i love you lord lord help okay so i was just talking about helping other people in my family but um so you know that's happening and um now don't get me wrong the enemy was still trying to like you know i was i was dealing with my like if you ever did the daniel fast it's not hard i mean it's not easy you know it's, you, it's a mind battle thing you have to be persistent so one of my students dads was like trying to hit on me and stuff like that like all this thing all these things are happening my husband going crazy and all kind of stuff not crazy but he was dealing with some stuff too and so like the the mind battles were there you know and then like still having to have to cook for my kids and to cook for my husband all those things and like trying to like you know navigate that my flesh cutting up it wants to eat what it want to eat and so like the whole time you know just having to be faithful so like the word of God really sustained me and I just that was my prayer the whole time I was fasting is God please sustain me sustain me thank you for sustaining me just calling those things as though they were you know because I was really like struggling with this but like as the days went on my body started to adjust and like it just became a little easier and I started to deal with like the mind battles and stuff like that but I would just continue to pray and pray and it just it, it just worked out and I just appreciate God for what he has done so uh may 10th okay so may 10th <laughs> i put right here waiting on god because i was like man i said while i'm in this waiting season i want to remain faithful to god i want to make sure to, to not complain to be ready to hear from him and to make good decisions i'm currently waiting on the job and some other things lord i'm praying you move for us in these teach me how to wait on you and your timing for these things help me to pray without ceasing to understand the purpose you have in this waiting season thank you lord for helping and keeping me um and then i put a scripture on psalms 27 14 wait on the lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait i say on the lord so you know waiting on the lord and um therefore i will look unto the lord i will wait for the god of my salvation my god will hear me because i was dealing with the fact like god can you hear me this job hadn't called me back that was like may 8th is when they finally talked to me about like the references and all those things and he said and then but they did tell me three weeks and i was hoping i was like god i'm gonna hear from them before the three weeks okay that's may 10th and so we're gonna move on to 
I was dealing with jealousy. Like I was dealing with like somebody, you know, I was just like, man, Lord, to get that off of me. I was dealing with that because they, God was moving for them and they just hadn't moved for me. Like you go through all these different things when you're fasting because that's when the enemy feel like he can try to tempt you. Like they, they tempted, he, t the devil tried to tempt Jesus when he was on his fast. Why do you think you're going to be exempt? So I knew that that was what, I didn't know how he was going to try to tempt me, but I knew I was going to be tempted. And I was just like, man, I see you. I see you enemy, you know, and, and some days I did write, um, so on May 15, I wrote this. It was a Monday. I said, Lord, today I feel sad. I feel worried that I haven't heard anything from the job. Now this, at this point, I interviewed May, April the 24th. It's May the 15th. And I hadn't heard anything since like a week, like since May 10th about like, okay, they're going to call the references and all that kind of stuff. And I said, I haven't heard anything from the job. I, it's been a month almost and I barely and anything concrete so no no one's told me that you got an offer they had another candidate they did to me that they're going to be going through the candidates and i'm like well dang i you know that's you know i was very confident in the interview and i just feel like you know they sent me the benefits package why would they do that <laughs> you know i was just like all these things happening in my brain but i did say i was feeling sad i was worried and i said today i found myself looking and putting applications in for new jobs i sort of feel i sort of felt convicted because you know i'm waiting on god to do something and then i was starting to do my own thing i want to wait but i'm not sure if you're telling me to stop i don't want to close one door until you do i'm just tired of waiting god i want to know something forgive me god for being in patient this is hard for me mentally today just isn't my day reading scriptures do help my mental state and really all i have right now i'm so glad i'm disconnected from the world because so i went on a um uh i went on a social media like i'm still kind of on that same consecration so no facebook no snapchat no instagram only thing i had was youtube and so i was just watching testimonies all the time and it really does help so I feel I'm glad I was disconnected because sometimes uh, I don't want to I said because I would be comparing myself to others. Thank you, Lord, for loving me even on days like today, um, because I just had to acknowledge that, God, this is what I'm feeling. I feel like this. So May 20th. May 20th, guys. I kept telling myself, I welcome good news today. Like, moving forward from that, I kind of started feeling better. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to get up from here. And I was just reading the scriptures. And I was like, you know, God, I welcome good news today. I welcome good news today. And I wrote that up here. I put, um, I welcome good news today. And I put, God is so amazing. I finally got a call back about the, my interviews almost a month ago. The position is not what I originally interviewed for. It's still a, like a, the same entity, but still dealing with foster kids, but it's going to be like a whole nother job. She said, based off your references, the people talk about how you do well with like your parents at school and how you do over and above the call of duty as a teacher, you know, just all of these like feel good things. Right. And she said, we feel that the, the job that you interview for is not going to be a best, like it's going to be a great fit, but we, got, we feel like you will be a better fit in this other position. Y'all. When I tell you, I send my message to the, my friend girl because she may have been like talking back and forth and she was like, I don't know. It took a long time for me as well. I don't really know. This is longer than I expected it to be, but I know you got the job. You know, she kept like reassuring me that I had the job. And so I had told her that, hey, they told me I'm going to have this other job. This is May 20th. And I said, I thank God for his faithfulness toward me. The position will start soon next month, which is in June. I felt like God is really listening to my prayers. I wanted to know something by Friday because I kept saying, if I don't know anything by Friday, May 19th, you know, I need to, if I don't hear, you know, if I don't hear anything, then that's not going to be, you know, I'm going to have to email them because I was like emailing him and he just really wasn't responding, you know, or I was texting the supervisor and he just really wasn't. You know, he was just like, I'll let you know when I know, basically. And so this whole nother supervisor emailed me on May 19th. She sent me a text message and said, can you call me? Um, and I was like, okay. So I called and this was the day after I wrote this. But on May 19th, it actually did. Um, she actually did call me. It's and I put, I wanted to know something by Friday, May 19th. And God did just that. He is truly on time. It's an on time God. So. First of all, I didn't even interview for the first job. Like, I mean, I didn't even apply for the first job. I, I sent my resume to them and then he called me and we did that whole thing. This next position, I didn't even interview. I didn't even send a resume for, I didn't even do application. 
none of those things they were able to get the application from those two jobs that i put in in the beginning when they told me i had to have a kid i couldn't have a kid and all those it's the same company but like i said different departments and so, so she said that she was going to send all my information to the ceo that night she was like i'm sending it that night i think i have a message hold on so i got my messages here i'm gonna read them to you uh, she's like, hey, Ashley, this is Emily, you know, from this place. I wanted to follow up on your interview from a few weeks ago. Would you give me a call? And so um, that was May 19th. So on May 25th, which was the next week, which that was May 19th, the Friday, the next Thursday, I said, good evening, Emily. I was just checking to see if there were any updates. And so that same day, she said, I submitted the paperwork a little later than I had planned, unfortunately. So I don't have an answer yet. I will check in tomorrow and let you know an update. And I was like, I understand, and this and that. So that was Thursday. So the following Wednesday, which was this Wednesday just, that just passed, this May 31st, she sent a message. She said, hey, would you give me a call? Uh, I got an update. So she tell me, she goes on to tell me, because I called right away. I didn't even text back. Like, <laughs> I didn't even text back. I was like, okay, I'm going to call. And basically, she told me I had a formal offer. Because on the 19th, I asked, did I have, is this a formal offer? And she was like, no, not yet. It's not official. But I'm just letting you know that the position has changed. I was just like, oh, my goodness. This is like, God, you're teaching me how to be patient. Because, man, mind you, this is a stay-at-home job you know working um with kids but like working with families but like it's a stay-at-home job so y'all she called me on may 31st and then like right away i'm like okay and you know I, I accept it or whatever so hr sends me all the documents i have to get drug tested i have to get fingerprinting i have to get background check all the things i'm like whoop, 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 let's get it done and so i did all the things on the 31st and then they sent me like the the onboarding stuff like w4 stuff direct deposit all that stuff I, and i'm filling that out and i finished that up last night on the first so my start date is june 19th now I am believing God that I'm able to balance both of the jobs, but you know, I am like ready to let go of my teaching job in the event that, you know, I can't do both. Um, so she said that the job is very flexible, that I can work in the evenings, I can work at night. So that's the reason why I'm saying, um, oh, I might as well just keep my second job because we're trying to pay off some debt, y'all. We're trying to buy a house, which is a whole nother testimony. I'm keeping my little book so I can make sure that I can go back and talk to you guys on episode two and three of this series of how God is moving for the fairlies okay and so um yeah that's that's really it. so i got a job that's working for home um a job that i didn't even apply for um and you know all because i was faithful and I, all because i was obedient to the fast i feel like that the fast really did prompt that because immediately when i started the fast I mean, they called me two days after i started i mean i just really believe like stuff is like you know line up online so so on june 1st i wrote I got a start date. Y'all, I'm so happy. I was like, I am writing today to inform that I got the job. Like, I got an official start date, June 19th. And it's on Juneteenth, y'all. Come on, somebody. I said, I'm so happy. They called me yesterday, May 31st. Well, they text the call, and I did. Anyways, it's official. I'm having to send all documents, which I don't mind at all with a smiley face. <laughs> God is so faithful. My prayer now is that I can work both jobs to pray, pay down debt and to save money. God will work it out. He has so far. I'm so happy. So, so I hope this encourages. I know it was a little long, but y'all, I had to get it out. I had to get it out. Moving forward, we're still developing a relationship with God, like getting more in depth with him, making sure I wake up in the morning to pray and just like read my word and just like all the things that I really wasn't making a priority it's a priority now i have to make sure that i pray in the mornings and I, you know you can find your time of day your secret place with god and he will you know move on your behalf so i don't want this video to be in a, any longer than it has to be i will see you guys on the next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you can see part two and part three of what god is doing guys because i don't even know i just know it's going to be a part two and a part three to this series so Y'all just stay tuned. I will see you guys on the next one, okay? Bye, guys.